LUT Manager is a standalone app for macOS that allows you to quickly find, view, organize, and apply LUTs stored on your computer. Process your photos and videos in just a few clicks, straight from the photos gallery or from any other folder on disk. The result is easy to save or to share instantly. Today, we will give you a practical look at LUT Manager's main features. When we open LUT Manager, on the left we see two main tabs. A tab called LUT, in this one we can add, sort and browse through LUTs. The other tab is called Image. This is where photos and videos selected for processing are stored. From here we can choose what to apply LUTs to and save the result. Let's start with the first tab and add some LUTs to the app. Go to Disk Folders and click on a plus sign. Now we can choose a folder containing LUTs. LUT Manager will automatically find and add LUTs in this and any enclosed folders to its library. If you don't have any LUTs yet, you can buy and download them from our website or many other places. LUT Manager comes with an initial set of technical and artistic LUTs. To use them in a program outside of LUT Manager, you can save them to a folder by right-clicking on the name, choosing Export to Folder, and saving to a new or existing folder. These LUTs should now be available to use with other programs. Let's pick any group of LUTs and head over to the Image tab to see how we can try them out on images. There are two views on top of each other. The bottom view contains photos and videos from your photos gallery. If you have iCloud Photos turned on, then the media you take with your iPhone and other linked Apple devices will show up here. Images that you add yourself are in the top view. If you want to include videos or photos outside of the Photos Gallery, drag and drop files into this view. Or import videos or photos by using the buttons at the top. Let's start with a photo example and leave video until later. Select any photo. You will instantly see a grid of preview thumbnails in the gallery below the main preview image. Apply a LUT to the large preview image by double-clicking on a LUT file or by dragging and dropping it onto the image. View the original by unchecking the LUT file name in the top left of the pane. Adjust the mix of the LUT as a percentage and save the result by choosing Save to File in the top right corner and selecting the destination or immediately share it to a colleague or friend via these other options. If you have many LUTs, you can expand the preview gallery to fit the screen. Change the thumbnail size, crop ratio of the thumbnails, or view the files as a list. Search through LUTs from the top right of the window. You can also adjust the size of the gallery with a dividing line, or expand the image to fill the entire window. To inspect details in the image, adjust the zoom in the top right. Select Fit to return the image back to the size of the working area. You can also enable 2 or 4 up comparison view. This helps a lot when you want to compare LUTs with the original image or to select the best LUT out of several. Transforms are linked across image views, so when you zoom and pan around one image, the others follow. Use the palette option to compute and display the dominant colors of an image after a LUT has been applied. This helps to choose the right color combinations. You can save a selected picture or video with or without the palette overlay. And now, we go back to the LUTs tab. You can create your own pack or collection of your favorite LUTs. Go to Persistent Collections. Click on the plus to create a new empty collection and click on the name to edit it. Press Enter to confirm. 
add LUTs to the new collection from existing packs by opening any folder, choosing the two folder view, selecting the new folder in the second view, and dragging and dropping from the selected pack into the new collection. This works with any folders. You can also create your own collections using smart folders. In smart collections, you can set certain conditions and LUTs will be added to the folder accordingly. This is useful if you often create LUTs yourself. You can always create and save your own LUTs using Color Finale 2 Pro. Here we also see settings that allow you to select video color space, pick the video editing software to integrate with, or get feedback. Let's enable all three of our video editing programs that we have installed on our computer. Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Now we have them visible under Applications. By opening any of them, we can browse and preview the LUTs inside the locations these programs normally store their LUTs in. With LUT Manager, we can create collections within the video editing program in exactly the same way we created our own collection earlier. Afterwards, you'll be able to easily find these LUTs inside your video editing program. Now let's explore how to quickly apply LUTs to video. Let's move a video over to LUT Manager. This video was filmed in log and so it initially looks quite pale. If we want to quickly preview and show what it looks like with a LUT applied, we don't even need to fire up our video editing program. This method is very convenient when you need to quickly create a preview from footage that's just been shot in log or standard format. For your social networks, to show to the customer, or to get a rough idea of the final result yourself. We can do everything quickly with LUT Manager. To begin with, we can choose a frame that best reflects the essence of the video. Click on the triangle, choose Add New Frame, pick the right frame on the timeline and click Use Frame. Now we can convert log to a video space such as Rec 709. Select a suitable color space transforming LUT, right click, and use as input LUT. A cube icon appears on the video thumbnail. By clicking on this cube, we can see the applied corrective LUT. If necessary, change the color space or remove the LUT. After applying the technical LUT, we can apply the second, artistic LUT in exactly the same way. We pick a folder with artistic LUTs and begin looking for the one that suits us best. We can save or send the current frame or entire video as an example to the customer right after a shoot. If you plan to continue the video work in Final Cut Pro, after applying the right look to a video in LUT Manager, you have two ways of copying the LUT over to Final Cut Pro as an effect. Right click and select Copy as Final Cut Pro Custom LUT Effect. Go over to Final Cut Pro and insert a LUT with Command Shift V. In this way, you know exactly what LUT you used and how it will affect the image instead of scrolling through an endless list of LUTs. The second way of copying a LUT over to Final Cut Pro is for users of Color Finale 2. Right click on the image and select Copy as Color Finale Effect. Head over to Final Cut, hit Command Shift V again and apply the effect. Now the LUT has been applied as a color finale effect. The video work can be continued in Final Cut Pro. Now you know how LUT Manager can improve and streamline your workflow, help you make creative decisions quicker, and eliminate guesswork when dealing with large collections of LUTs. LUT Manager comes with 36 great built-in LUTs to help you get started. Find more information and buy the app on colorfinale.com.